All right, what is up, everybody? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to the beginning of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, this video right here is going to be a separate video from the disclaimer in the same playlist, but just to give you guys expectations on uh, how I'm going to do this and what to expect. So, first off, um, somebody got fired. <laughs> Uh, apparently at a GameStop somewhere, somebody released this, uh, they leaked it early in like, I want to say in like late April, early May, and uh, yeah, they ended up getting fired from that, so uh, just a fair warning, anybody who working at a GameStop or any game retail shop or like a Walmart or anything that's it, or any retail store that sells video game products, um, if you want to keep your job, yeah, don't leak video games that are supposed to come out later in the month because you're pretty much going to set yourself up to get terminated. So let that be a lesson to everybody else. But secondly, um, this is my first Zelda playthrough since, well, let me say my first traditional Zelda playthrough, uh, well, I won't even say playthrough because I wasn't live streaming, but but yeah, like a playthrough, yeah. Since I want to say Hyrule Warriors, but that doesn't really count as a traditional Zelda game. That's more like a Musou Dynasty Warriors style of t uh, game. But a traditional Zelda game, I think my last full playthrough of a Zelda title was like Link in the Four Swords Adventure. Like like Legend of Zelda Link Four Swords Adventure or something like that, it was like a GameCube game where you could hook up your Game Boy Advances to it and like four people can can play simultaneously, um, and it was a very unique game. Um, but that was like my last taste of anything Zelda related traditionally. Um, so I plan on having fun with this one now. From what I hear, the previous title I don't remember what the name of it was. Um, but I heard some negative things about it. I personally didn't play it, so I'm hoping that this has a more positive review than those other, uh, than those other games that people said wasn't good. And, um, there may be some Easter eggs or some references in this game from the previous games. Um, in between Link and the Four Swords Adventure and this, you know what I'm saying? Anything Link and the Four Swords and before, I'm familiar with. But anything after that, up until now, I'm not familiar with at all. Um, like the, like Twilight Princess and all that, I didn't I didn't play those games, so I didn't know. I wouldn't know. Um, so hopefully, uh, you guys don't get on my ass too much if it ends up being like a a reference here and there that I'm not picking up on because again I haven't played those games to know so and I hope it's a good game too you know even though I haven't played a lot of the Zelda games the ones I did play I have very fond memories of and um I hope this kind of takes me down a trip to memory lane uh and makes me want to possibly go back and play those previous Zelda titles just for um just for the experience and just to get just to pick up on references i may have missed over the years so that could be something to look forward to but uh with that being said this is going to be the first video in this playlist um and again this is the disclaimer i wanted to i wanted this to be separate from the playthrough itself uh but yeah so without